what is tropical rainforest? Tropical rainforest is a tropical forest that receives high amount of rain, with an annual rainfall of about 100 inches or 254 cm. A tropical rainforest have fairly tall trees with broad leaf evergreen forming a continuous canopy. It is without dry season and have an average precipitation of at least 60 mm. So where is the location of tropical rainforest? Tropical rainforest is a hot, moist biome found near the Earth equator, which is the equator to 10 degree or 25 degree north and south of latitude. The world's largest tropical rainforests are located at 0 to 100 meter elevation near equator in South America, Africa, and Southeast Asia. The example of tropical rainforest is the Banjaran Titiwangsa at Greek Perak, Malaysia, which is the largest remaining continuous forest tract in Peninsular Malaysia. What are the importance of tropical rainforests? Tropical rainforest is an important water catchment area for hydrology processes. Tropical rainforests are also important in preventing landslides. Besides that, tropical rainforest is also important in maintaining or increasing richness in biodiversity, which is the flora and fauna. The combination of constant warmth and abundant moisture makes the tropical rainforest a suitable environment for many plants and animals. Tropical rainforests contain the greatest biodiversity in the world. The examples of the flora will be the large leaf pitcher plant, bamboo orchid, and the rafflesia. While the examples of the fauna will be the Malayan sun bear, the Malayan tiger, Asian elephant, Sumatran rhinoceros, rhinoceros hornbill, proboscis monkey, and the Malayan tapir. So what is the main issue happening in tropical rainforests? The main issue happening is the deforestation. The examples of deforestation happening is in Borneo and in Cameron Highland. Malaysia are said to have the world's highest rate of forest loss from year 2000 to year 2012 according to the new global forest map developed. From the graph, Malaysia's total forest loss in year 2000 to 2012 is amounted to be in the highest percentage in comparing with other countries. The causes of deforestation includes urbanization, agriculture, building of roads and highways, and timber and palm oil plantation. What are the effects of deforestation? First of all, rise in temperature. According to the Star News, temperature of the highland has been gradually rising since 1980 caused by the land clearing activities. The second effect of deforestation is the decrease in humidity. The graph shows the decrease in humidity of Cameron Highland from 1965 to 2007. Rapid development in Cameron Highland such as urbanization, agricultural, buildings of new roads and highway are other kind of development lead to illegal clearing of land. This has greatly affected the natural environment where the forest cover experienced extensive loss. In consequence, Cameron Highlands also experienced rise of temperature and decrease of humidity due to the clearing of trees and caused an increase of carbon dioxide in the air. The third effect of deforestation is landslide. These other example of landslide happen in Malaysia. The fourth effect of deforestation is flood. The flood that occurred at Batam Valley, Cameron Highland claimed at least three lives in October 2013. How flood happens? Heavy rain fall onto the dry cracked ground when there's no leaf to reduce the impact of raindrop on soil cause soil erosion and no root to absorb water from soil and reduce the movement of sediment into the river water run down into the river directly. 
river rises dramatically and burst its bank. Flood occur. The fifth effect of deforestation is habitat destruction. Deforestation causes habitat destruction and lead to habitat loss of flora and fauna. This will increase the species extinction rate. Large mammals require vast area to survive, whereas small mammals may not be able to recolonize isolated patches of suitable habitat. Deforestation disrupts the habitat and increases the species extinction rate. Deforestation leads to loss of nutrient reservoir and the soil usually becomes unable to support crop in just a few years. Nearly all the nutrient contained of a tropical rainforest is in the living plant and the decomposing litter on the forest floor. So imagine what will happen to the flora if deforestation is continued. In Malaysia, Malayan sun bear is listed as vulnerable by the IUCN Red List 2008. This species is threatened by habitat loss. Actions and measures are needed to be taken in order to reduce deforestation. Some solutions include replanting or reforestation, reducing the paper usage and law and regulations. Also, WWF Malaysia works closely with Sarawak and Sabah governments to address the deforestation rate in both states through various conservation initiatives, including enhancing the protected areas. In the 24 hours since this time yesterday, over 200,000 acres of rainforest have been destroyed in our world. Fully 13 million tons of toxic chemicals have been released into our environment. Over 45,000 people have died from starvation, 38,000 of them were children, and more than 130 plant and animal species have been driven to extinction by the actions of humans, and all this just since yesterday.